He'd committed acts of violence before. When 22-year-old Jake Davison opened fire on Biddick Drive in Keyham in August 2021, killing his mother Maxine and four passers-by, he was already known to police. On the 16th of September 2020, Davison had attacked a 15-year-old boy in a skate park, savagely punching him nine times in the head before then slapping the face of a 16-year-old girl. And it's those attacks that have formed the main thrust of the inquest so far. The jury heard from David Huggett from the organisation Pathfinder that works with young offenders to try to ensure they don't offend again. Well, Mr Huggett was questioned about the risk assessment that he filled out after a meeting with Jake Davison and in particular why he marked him down as very low risk and also why in the section about Mr. Davison's interests and hobbies, no mention was made of his interest in guns. A gun that was taken off him after that assault, but returned to him weeks later. Earlier in the week, a representative of the families of the bereaved criticised a police decision to mark these assaults as battery rather than bodily harm, a categorisation that kept Davison under the radar of the CPS. The inquest heard how police had limited options at the time. Due to the COVID pandemic, many of the anger management courses and events that would have been available to Davison had closed their doors. There were two online courses available, but Pathfinders decided both courses, at £40 each, were prohibitively expensive for Davison, and so he completed just one. The jury heard how Davison finished the course, but no one checked how he'd performed or how he'd answered questions. The inquest at Exeter Racecourse continues. Jeff Moody, GB News.